You're about to watch the Polly Detmers channel. Enjoy. So here in this video, we're going to do a review of the Will Prep pizza oven that I bought off of Amazon during Amazon Prime days. It was originally listed at about 260 some odd dollars. Um, yeah, I waited till Amazon Prime days and I only, it was on sale for like 160 some dollars. So I think I paid like 170 something after taxes. I'm glad I did that. So let's go to the Will Prep website and see what they're charging direct from the factory. That's right. Look at that price, $499. Let's just call it 500, okay? Because that's what it is, and it's going to cost more with the shipping and the tax. That's crazy. I'm I'm grateful for Amazon. I'm telling you that. Very grateful. Well, I received the pizza oven through Amazon from an Amazon delivery driver, and here's the box. Yeah, it's not going to be a full-fledged unboxing video here. Uh, just a typical packaging. It was packaged nicely. The pizza stone was not broken. That was my main concern. It was tucked away inside of the oven. Bunch of foam, bunch of wrapping, bunch of cardboard. I'm happy. The, the thing that the only thing that I really didn't like was getting rid of all the cardboard, styrofoam, and plastic. So really I have nothing to complain about. I have the pizza oven out of the box. Only thing I had to do was put the handle on the front door, which was secured on there nicely with two screws. And the only thing I came with was a stone and this little tool. This is a, a pizza stone lifter tool. It just looks like a folded, bent up piece of metal to you and I, but it's, it's very handy. I assume that they had complaints that the pizza stone would break anytime someone tried to take it out of there and clean it because maybe they used a screwdriver and they cracked it using a screwdriver. I don't know. But I'm glad that they sent this with the Will Prep pizza oven. Now let's look at the front of the pizza oven. Yeah, there are two dials. One on top is for the top burner and the one below that is for the bottom burner. That dial on the bottom is a timer. You do not have to have that timer on for the pizza oven to run. You don't even have to use it. That's like a toaster oven feature when you have that. And underneath that is your on and off button and the light switch button. Inside, there's a lot of room. You can put up to a 16 inch pizza in there. Yeah, this it, it has a nice stainless steel surface on the outside. Uh, a lot of people can't or don't know how to properly clean stainless steel, I'm telling you. Uh, they get something stuck on the stainless steel and what do they do? They, they take a green pad or a scotch pad and they scrub it and they get a big bunch of scratches and stuff in that spot where that food debris was stuck on. Never do that. And this is not a how-to or anything like that, but I'll just say this. If you're using stainless or cleaning it, always go with the grain. If you look at the stainless steel, there, there is always a grain, a grain in it, just like wood, but it's metal. Always clean with it, and don't use a scotch pad. You're watching the Polly Detmers channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I do polish the outside of it, and what do I use? I will use this stove top uh, cleaner. It's the same thing as a stainless steel polish. They, some you know many people buy that stuff for their stainless steel refrigerator oven whatever but this will work on your stovetop as well as any stainless steel surface I didn't really do any modifications the only thing I did was put a piece of steel inside of it 
on top of the piece of stone that it came with just because it's more durable and it just seems like it works better the manual that it came with uh, you know they say this oven's a commercial pizza oven but you know I question that will I ever find out here's something where they talk about it using commercially in the manual it says increase temperature during heavy production times to maintain ideal ideal baking temperature be sure to decrease it when rush slows to prevent burning now it's obvious this thing was written by someone in Beijing they talk about it as proper as I do but uh <laughs> yeah it's it's a commercial pizza oven yeah first couple pizzas did not really turn out perfect the way I want it they were good you've seen them in a video or two I think uh, the last pizza I made in there here's a little footage of that that pizza turned out excellent because I did as I mentioned wait one hour for it to heat up and it, it somehow just worked better and the instructions in this manual tells you to heat it up to the temperature you want it set at I say forget that and go when, when you heat it up turn it up to max and then bring it down don't set it to the desired cooking temperature bring it up take it up to max and then bring it down after you get to the max it worked for me I am happy that I bought it uh, it's fun to cook pizzas here in the studio that way I'm away from the little lady being on the phone and I'm away from her watching TV it's hard to record with the little lady around yep 1600 watts my 16 inch pizza capacity I like the will prep pizza oven and that's all I can tell you I'm not saying I'm not gonna say go out there and buy one you need to learn how to use it don't follow these instructions just find how you want your pizza to be made and then toy around with it and you'll get it zeroed in thanks for watching I'm Paulie till next time